the best bunch defense in the game comes out of the three through five penny formation. This is in the three through five type defensive playbook. I've got a full ebook on three through five penny. If you guys want to check that out, I'm going to put a link in the description to my school community. School members get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates that we drop to help you become a better college football or Madden 25 player. You get both games for just 10 bucks. The link is going to be down in the description below. Now we're going to be coming out in this pinch blitz zero real quick. I did want to make a quick note of my package here. As you can see, our packages are on default for this. We're actually going to turn or we're going to leave this on uh, for this defense. And we're going to be using again, pinch blitz zero. So the way that the, defense is going to be set up is we're going to send a four man pressure off of the left side and then we're going to craft coverage around this to make this super super effective so the best way that i know how to do this defense is we're just going to shift our defensive line to the left we're going to crash our defensive line out and this is going to create the blitz and i'll show you the blitz and then we'll get into kind of the coverage i'm going to take that linebacker and just put on the right and put him in whatever coverage i want and you're going to see that this still is going to scream off of that left side so we're able to craft really good pressure off of the left side. We're going to force a rollout to the right side. So we need zones over there to be able to defend the, the, the play. So what I like to do, especially against Bunch Strong, because there's not really a, a big time threat to the left side of the screen, is I like to put my user on a flat um, to the left side. If I ever do, if I do see a flat, then I can switch stick off of him and get onto somebody else to be able to cover the middle of the field a little bit better. Then what we're going to do is we're going to shift our defensive line to the left. We're going to crash our defensive line outside. And then as you see, this is kind of how we're going to stand. Now, what I also like to do here is we're going to put our solo wide receiver side corner and an outside third. We're going to put our solo wide receiver side safety in a middle third. Our solo wide or our, our bunch side safety in an outside third to that bunch side. This is going to really help with a lot of the bomb concepts and the deep corner routes. And then we're going to put our corner on this uh, outside here we're going to put him on a cloud flat this is going to take away a lot of the big plays that they could potentially get and then last but not least we're going to put this linebacker here on a vert hook now this slot corner i do like to man him up uh, either on the slot receiver or the outside, pretty much anyone on the on the field. Uh, we can put him on anyone on that side. Another thing that you can do if you want is put him in a mid-read. That mid-read zone will do a really good job against a lot of posts and things of that nature. But in general, the most basic adjustment would be to just leave him manned up either on the either on the slot receiver here or on the actual outside bunch receiver himself. Now this slot receiver is normally on a crosser or corner route, which is why we have him manned up. And you can see that this is what the defensive play art is gonna look like. So at the snap of the ball, depending on the route combination, I'm really looking to see if they run a flat across the left side. If they do run a flat to the left side, what you're gonna see here is I'm gonna snap this ball and we're just gonna switch stick onto this vert hook and we're gonna basically allow the flat to, 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 to carry whatever route is coming across our face. So as you see here, when I snap this ball, I'm covering to the right side initially, but I do see that there's a flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch stick. At this point, I have switch sticked, and I'm now the vertical hook defender. And then this flat is just gonna carry him all the way across the field. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you in this replay about this defense is that this is going to do a really good job of defending these corner routes from corner strike. I think that the corner strike corner route is the best corner route in the game. And this is going to probably be one of the better ways to help combat it. And then we're also really doing a good job of bomb proof anything up the middle with this man up of the slot receiver. Now, another popular combo that a lot of people like to go to in this playbook, let me actually go grab it, is going to be the play dagger. And we're going to kind of explain how to adapt this coverage for the play. So the way that you would adapt this coverage for the play dagger is actually really not that complicated at all. The main way that people are going to run dagger is they're going to put this guy on a crosser and they're going to snap the ball quick. So we're going to set up our defense as we talked about. And what you're going to see here, let me just go through and set this up real quick, is when we see dagger, we're going to do kind of that same method where we're going to essentially switch stick to the vertical hook and basically take the tight end in route so it's a little hard to show like a super good user with two controllers as i'm trying to snap the ball but i just wanted to show you kind of what's happening here and the concept so at the play snapped we see okay 
There is somebody coming across our face and it is this drag route. So at this point, I'm gonna switch stick to, to this vertical hook. Now what I like to do is kind of try to bait between the crosser and this backside in route, but this is the route that I know that I'm responsible for because this crosser is gonna be defended by this middle third, this man up, and ultimately it's gonna be a tight throw. If they do make that throw, it's the hardest throw to make on the play, which is one of my big rules for defense, is you wanna make them make the hardest throw on the play. I think that's one of the super underrated principles. So you see here, this is kind of how we're able to take away one of the best route combos in the game in the play dagger. The last play that I want to cover in terms of defending bunch strong offset, which is probably the best bunch in the game, is going to be this play flood. So the way that we're going to defend the play flood is we're going to use the same adjustments for this play. And this is probably the play that ultimately they're probably going to have the most open, but it's not as open as you might think. So the way a lot of people are gonna run this play flood is they're gonna try to essentially craft a, a one play touchdown. And they can craft this one play touchdown in a couple of different ways. Really the main way that I've seen is they're gonna stem this tight end about 20 to 25 yards up the field, so super deep. And then they're gonna stem the slot corner route all the way down. So it's a double corner concept with a backside dig. The backside dig is really our primary responsibility as a user defender. So what I want to do is I just want to let the play run and we're going to kind of die. I'm going to try to throw this bomb and then we'll look at kind of how the play works out. And because I want to throw the bomb, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to spy the pass rush so that we can really dive into the coverage. So you see here, we're going to spy the pass rush and we're looking for this circle receiver deep. And as you see, the circle receiver really does not be, is really not that open. Okay. Now let's jump into replay and kind of explain how this defense defends a lot of what this concept wants to do. So the first way that we're able to defend a lot of what this concept wants to do is this short corner route is running into this cloud, which is a pretty decent zone for this. It's also manned up. Okay. And this man up will, he didn't play it very good there. If I was to press him, he would play it a little bit better. Okay. And I'll, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then this outside third is going to defend this deep corner route to the tight end. So you see here, he's kind of going to be bracketing between this short corner. This guy can still make a play on this pass because the cloud is going to force them to throw the ball here, which this guy can make a play on. And then also, he's really ultimately going to be responsible for defending this tight end route, as you see here he's able to do. So the main route on the play that can burn you is this fade. But as you see, this vertical hook is actually going to match to him, which is kind of crazy. Um, and also, this middle third is going to play out of his mind and be able to get over here and actually make a play on the ball. So now I want to show you one other thing that you can do to kind of make this defense a little bit better, depending on, you know, if they're running a lot of concepts to their slot receiver. So this also will work for dagger, but it's really good for this flood setup as well. So the main way that they're going to beat man out of this is with these sharp corners. So what I like to do is we're going to go ahead and individually press the slot. So everything that we showed you is going to be the same. The only difference is because I don't really like press in this game on the outside, but I love it in the slot. We're going to individually press the slot receiver. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to hit triangle. We're going to hit X for individual. We're going to hit R1, the icon of the slot receiver. And we're going to flick our right joystick down or just, I think that might be a visual bug, but basically we're going to press him. And if it, if it does this where it's not pressing him, you can press your whole defense and just back off your outside guys. That's perfectly fine too. And gets the safeties into the box, which will make it a little bit better for your defense. So now what I want to do is, again, we're going to just spy the pass rush. And I want you to watch this, how this is going to do at defending this slot short corner that was open on the last play so as you see here that short corner is really not going to be throwable and even though we did get an inaccurate he's really not open over there and then the other thing that i want to show you one last time is that this can defend the bomb um, pretty well it's not the it's really not the worst at defending this one play touchdown again this is a one play touchdown formula that they're trying to use on you. What I would probably do as well is you could just easily switch stick onto the middle third and try to, if you ever, you know, and again, they're not gonna have time for this because you are sitting pressure. So I'm gonna leave that there. 
but I do want to show this. So again, typically the way that they're going to set the bomb up is they're going to stem this corner route up so it kind of runs more like a streak, and then they're going to stem this guy down. But what you see here is kind of the way the coverage works. This is a super tight throw for them to be able to make between that middle third, and they could just as easily assume that that middle third or that, that outside third is a deep half. So, And then, oh, one last thing I did want to show before we get out of here is I did want to show – this setup against dagger because I do think it, it it really does a good job. It does a better job against dagger. So again, here's your dagger concept and pretty much the same rules apply here. I'm going to spy the pass rush just so that we can have a little bit easier of a time watching the coverage here. But basically you're going to press back these guys off so that the slot corner stays pressed. And then you can shade that slot corner as well. So if you want to shade outside, if you want to shade inside, you can do that. But essentially when they snap the ball, you're going to see, oh, it's dagger. I'm going to switch stick to one of these guys on the right side and go take away the tight end. And then that man up is going to do a pretty good job of taking this away. And I'll show that. So what you'll see from this man up here, another thing you can do that I didn't get into yet is you can shade underneath as well which will help that. So you could man, you could basically come out, shade underneath. Your man coverage would shade underneath. And then you could then you could put your zones out there. Because you see here, he did get off the press, and he is kind of open on that play. So I'll show that while we're here. We might as well. We're already super deep into this bunch, D. This is probably one of the best videos you'll see on, on defending bunch. So what I'm going to do to the slot. So I've kind of set up my, my – basically, I've set up my blitz, right? I've pressed. I'm going to shade underneath. And by shading underneath, that's going to make all the man coverage play super, super underneath. And then we're going to make our zone adjustments, as you can see here. Okay? So it just takes that slot corner, and it tells him, hey, I want you to play super underneath in your coverage. So now we'll snap this ball. You see here, this guy's not even going to get off the line. And you see what the – you see a massive difference. And then again, you're just switch sticking to the vertical hook to take the tight end when he comes back across the middle of the field. But I want to show this replay so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So again, all we did differently this time was we shaded underneath, and this just absolutely bagged this crossing route. And I mean, what are you actually going to be able to throw on this play? Right? My user wasn't the best here because I'm trying not to click onto a spy. But essentially, you, when you would switch stick off, this guy would go play the flat. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed videos like this, let me know in the comments. I want to do more videos like this where we kind of deep dive formations and things of that nature just to kind of explain how to adjust to the best offenses in the game. If you can learn how to stop the best offenses, it's going to make the mediocre offenses much easier for you to defend. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to check this out, check out our entire defensive ebook on this defense. Uh, three through five penny. I will put a link to our school community in the description down below for just $10. You can become a member and get access to all of our college and Madden offensive and defensive ebooks.